Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today, we are going to try to crash the game in as many different ways as possible. So I have a pretty beefy computer, so it might not be easy, but we're gonna do everything we can to try to crash the game in multiple different ways. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing I was thinking was just make a ton of supernovas happen. So if we have the sun here, so this is our solar system and you can see it's running pretty smoothly. Um, how fast could we run it at this time with my computer? So my computer is powerful enough to run the solar system at about 50 years every second which is actually pretty crazy so we need to be able to not do that so the more things are that are happening it's going to slow the game down and maybe we can get it to crash so let's launch another sun into our sun and get okay those both supernova out so then let's add like a bunch of suns so sun 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 so these are all suns right here and oh, okay <laughs> another supernova happened we might need a bigger star because this is running so smoothly i'm getting like 60 frames per second smooth as they explode okay where's where's beetlejuice beetlejuice is actually okay look how much bigger beetlejuice is than all of these it's gonna eat them all at once okay beetlejuice versus beetlejuice trying to zoom out boom place more okay it's lagging a tiny bit but not too bad like look that is still smooth if you get in here it's a little more laggy you can see the lagginess so maybe if we do okay what's uh we need stevenson 218 where's that right here this is the biggest star that exists put a bunch here oh and we also want the time to be running as fast as we can let it go how is it letting me go this fast what is happening to the game all the supernovas are okay we need a new simulation okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna put like as many stevenson 218 218s as i can while the game is paused so we're just gonna like draw we can draw shapes or whatever um and then we're gonna play and hopefully all of them crashing together at once will be enough to crash the game okay so i'm just gonna keep placing as many as possible so all of these are the biggest copies of the biggest star that we know exist so let's compare one of these to the sun just so you can see like how much stuff is actually here so here's stevenson 220 and then here's the size of our sun in comparison that's it this little dot right here is <laughs> the size comparison. So these are pretty big and this is covering a large area. So let's get some more Stevenson 218s in here and then we'll see what happens. There's so many, okay. So that's like probably over a hundred Stevenson 218s. So we, I just pressed play and now we're gonna let the time go as fast as it'll let us go. So I'm speeding it up as fast as it could go. Okay, lag, lag, lag and they all fly away from each other. Why can't, okay, a couple black holes got made somehow. I don't know how that happened, but it looks like that's not gonna work. Okay, I do have another idea. Okay, galaxies are gonna have a lot of mass on them, like particles, so it's, if we get like a random galaxy. So what if we just like fill the game with as many galaxies as I can while it's paused? Oh, that's already starting to lag, lag it. So yeah, do some more. These are all random galaxies that it's just spawning in. You can see the size difference. Some of them are a lot bigger. Okay, the game's getting really laggy, but lag does not mean crashed. Hopefully my recording doesn't like corrupt. Okay, that's a good amount of galaxies. Those are all different galaxies. Oh, the frame rate is like zero. Okay, play time and then speed up as fast as I can. Okay, we're going about a thousand years a second. They're not really gonna start moving until you get super, super big time. Okay, so this is about as fast as it, oh my gosh, the frame rate. Look at that, it's like two frames per second. And my computer is not small, so that's kind of crazy. The frame rate is so low, I can't even do anything. Okay, so now we just need it, like we need just a little thing to push it over the edge to get this to crash fully. Let's add some more galaxies. Okay, pause the game so we can have a little bit more freedom. What if we zoom out really far? Does that help with our frame rate? Not really. <laughs> okay, some more galaxies. Oh my gosh, I can't even add them. It's going so slow. Okay, okay, just watch this frame rate. I think this might help a lot. So see how the frame rate's like zero? If I click Control D, that'll clear every fragment. Let's see how well that works. Oh, 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 wait, that did it. Look, we crashed it. Okay, adding a ton of galaxies work. Okay, okay, we're back. The game's booted up. Oh, that's so smooth. So my next theory for trying to get it to crash is to add rings to Saturn, but then keep adding more and more and more and more and more rings. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's get Saturn's rings. So Saturn actually doesn't spawn with rings at the start. You can add them in though. So this is just like what one ring level looks like, but you can add it again and again and again and you can see they get thicker and the game starts to become laggy um and it also likes to shoot out 
Why is it so big? I do not remember Saturn's rings being that big. Why is it shooting out particles? That's strange. Anyway, let's keep adding it. You can see now it's a little more laggy. Add, 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 add. So it gets thicker and thicker each time, but the performance gets worse and worse. I'm just going to keep clicking this and maybe it will crash. Oh, this might be even easier than galaxies. You can see already the frame rate's so low. Add some more, add some more, add some more. Okay, I don't know how many we have, but we have a lot. Let's go into the settings and we might be able to crash it with one more click if we change the number of particles from 2,500 all the way up and the number of bodies all the way up. So now if we add this ring, it should add 20,000 particles at one time. One click, no way. It's still surviving this. Okay, what if we pause time? Add a bunch. Add it. I'm just like gonna click it a bunch. You could see how thick they're getting. They're almost like actual rings. Like they have all the particles needed. Less than one frame per second. So now, all at once, I'm gonna delete every single ring particle. If you do Control D, it'll delete all of them at once, and we'll see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the game froze. Did that crash it? Trying to clear them all? Yes. Yeah, it worked. Okay. We're two for two on crashing. Let's go for one more. Okay, so my last thing I do want to try is just make a star so big while it's paused and then just play. And we'll see if we could get it so massive that it just like destroys the whole game. So the game's paused right now. Otherwise, this wouldn't work. It would have already supernova. 10, 10, 10. I'm going to go as big as the game will possibly let me. Okay, the scale of this is not even like comprehensible to even understand okay just from the size while it's paused look the it's it's laggy just from this i don't even think this will even make you know how big it is but here's the milky way the entire milky way galaxy zoom is that big compared to our star that we just made so let's make it bigger radius 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times. okay i'm gonna zoom out like until it's like you can't even see it at all and just make it as big as it'll let me oh is there a limit is that the hard limit? Did we reach it? No, no, no. We can keep going. It looks like our radius stopped moving. There is a limit. This looks like we hit the limit. I've never actually tried this. Okay, so this is like the biggest star we could possibly make. And then before we hit play, I'm going to try to explode it. Oh, oh, I clicked explode. Oh, wait, it actually worked. And then play time. We're perfectly smooth. This explosion is so it's bigger than the entire observable universe. And the Milky Way got shot out. And, and that one just disappeared. Okay, well, let's go over to Space Engine and there's a couple things I wanna try to get that one to crash. Okay, so here we are at Earth. So I figured out today actually, so wait, there, there's Earth. We're not leaving Earth, it, we're just going next to it. That you can change how many stars are in your field of vision at one time. If you go to settings and then go to camera, you can change. So like this is showing how many stars you're gonna be able to see and it'll make them brighter too. So you'll see, we'll start to see a lot more as we start to turn this up. So let's see if we, cause it does get laggier too. The game is in the highest settings possible because I have a pretty beefy computer. Look at that, look how many stars there are. That is so bright. Okay, but that's not as bright as we can go. So let's make it brighter. I can't even see my mouse, it like blends in. Okay, stars up, up. What's the max? 20. So this is the max. And then what if we turn our exposure down so we can still kind of see what's going on? But all of these stars are in view. Okay. Frame rate is non-existent. This might be it. Just travel to Earth. See what it does. Ah! Whoa, that actually was surprisingly smooth. Okay, fly backwards. You can see it has to load it in chunks because I have the game on like the highest settings, ultra, everything. It's not even playable, but it doesn't crash. Okay, what if we turn all of these up? Okay, so we got planets. Turn those up. Wait, turn the stars down. We'll do the stars last. Okay, that instantly brought our frame rate back. Okay, planets all the way up. Clusters all the way up. Nebulae all the way up. Galaxies all the way up. Deep sky objects. So this is... Okay, this is everything but... Oh, whoa. Okay, this is everything except stars turned all the way bright. That's what the Milky Way looks like. That's kind of crazy. Oh, whoa, you could start to see... All of the, wait, turn this up. That is all of the galaxies that you can see if you turn everything max. That is actually so cool. Those are all galaxies. Okay, oh, the game. I think the game just crashed by itself. I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, it did. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that was cool. So here is, that's what the galaxies looked like. Look at that. Wow, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you think you could, suggest more ways to crash 
eat your game, put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.